Hello, and welcome to the rightcome.com podcast, where we help you to make money from your words. Each episode, we'll be sharing tips, tricks, and strategies you can use to make more money from your writing, publishing, and marketing to your fans and audience. Let's get started with your host, Barry J. McDonald. Hi, this is Barry here, and you are very, very welcome to today's podcast episode from rightcom.com. And today's podcast episode is entitled The Ripple Effect. Now, if you have listened to yesterday's podcast episode, this one is probably a good companion piece to it. I was actually going to call this one uh, part two of yesterday's episode in that, you know, I was all about making changes in people's lives. <clears throat> excuse me. And you don't know the change you could be making in someone's life. Now, yesterday I was going through my YouTube channel uh, dashboard, which I do from time to time. And I usually go through the comment section just to clear all the spam comments away because you have people who are advertising Asian girls looking for love or Russian girls looking for love or somebody's looking to sell me Viagra or whatever. So they put all these spam comments on videos. I don't actually know why they do it because I don't think anybody actually clicks on those links and actually goes to visit those sites. So rather than having all that content below my own videos, I do from time to time go in and delete all those comments and get rid of them. Now a while back somebody had posted a link saying that Somebody had actually made an animated version of one of my Minecraft books. Now at the time I was totally blown away that somebody could take some piece of content that I had made and actually made it better than it was. Now at the time I asked the person if they could reply and if they could give me a link to where the video was. I'd love to see it myself. And sure enough I was going through the comments yesterday and sure enough they had put a working link to the YouTube video. Now I probably will put the link to the <coughs> pardon me to the video in the show notes if you are interested in watching it. But I clicked on the link yesterday and I sat down to watch my book being, you know, uh, displayed in full color 3D, an animated Minecraft video. Now, if you've ever watched any of the, the Minecraft animated videos on TV, nowadays, you know, you probably would say to yourself, well, a couple of years back, you know, that would have to be done by Pixar or somebody else because, you know, it's going to take a lot of knowledge, a lot of equipment to animate stuff like that. But nowadays, most kids are animated and stuff from home. And to tell you the truth, you know, some the video I seen yesterday wouldn't look at a place on the large screen in my cinema in my local area. And I was totally blown away by the fact that somebody had taken something that I had wrote and actually animated it. You know, when I think about that, you know, something that I have wrote, something that was bouncing around in my head for the longest time, something, as I said before in another episode, I was looking to hire a, uh, a ghostwriter to write that book and the ghostwriter let me down. And then Catherine had motivated me enough to go ahead and write the book myself. And that book went actually on to be one of my most popular books. And the fact that, you know, somebody had taken the content of that book and was actually animating it and make it into a movie totally and absolutely blew me away. Now, I'm not like one of these persons who say, oh, that's copyrighted and you shouldn't do this you shouldn't do that I want to give up 100% you know support to this person for doing that because you know you never know what way your content or whatever could affect somebody else and sometimes you find as Kevin Smith would often say in his podcast sometimes you find art you know um, actually creating art in that sometimes when he goes back to some of his old movies like Clerks and stuff like that you have people who are creating podcasts on Clerks or you have people who create you know similar versions of it maybe an animated version of Clerks or whatever but people are using content and movies that he had created and they are spinning off and they are doing their own kind of artistic version of that so as I said you know I 100% support this person for doing it because when I watched it yesterday, even though I knew what was going to happen next, now the video is only about four or five minutes long, I assume it's probably because it took so long to animate it, but when I watched those four or five minutes in front of me, you know, even though I knew the storyline, I knew what was going to happen next, I was really, really absorbed and I was really, I, as I said <laughs> before, I was totally blown away that somebody would actually do something like that. Take one of my pieces of content and actually make it far better than I could ever imagine. So, as I said, you know, you don't know you know the idea of this ripple effect is you could put a piece of content out today that could make somebody rethink again too another example of that yesterday was the i had taken yesterday's podcast episode title and i had used it as an email and i had sent it out to my list and because of that then somebody had bought my email writing course and the reason they said that was because that title in that email triggered in something in them that you know made them want to do something good in their life, leave something behind them, influence somebody, make a difference in someone's life. And, you know, 
as I said, you know, that ripple effect, you don't know what piece of content you could put out today could make a big difference in someone's life. You know, even something like a fiction book. Sometimes, you know, you may say to yourself, well, I only write a fiction book. But sometimes that fiction book, somebody could be going through a rough time in their life. Maybe they are going through the similar circumstances that your character is going through. And when they actually get to the end of your book and find out their character has found the love of their life or has overcome the disease or whatever they had or has completely rebuilt themselves, sometimes that that can be enough even though it's only a fictional character sometimes that can be enough to make somebody stay longer in their life maybe not contemplate suicide this time and say to themselves well that person got through it even though as I said it is a fictional character sometimes that could be enough for somebody just to hold on to life longer to do something or maybe you could put a podcast out today that could just totally influence somebody that could make them want to be a podcast or that could make them want to take up writing that could make them want to reach out to a family member that they've fallen out of years ago and you could be the kind of ripple thing that caused them to you know almost like the domino effect that you could cause somebody to do some action they could do some action do some action and you never know what you could create today what you could write today what you could video today might ripple out there and could affect you know tens maybe hundreds of people people you might never even know about and sometimes you know when we put content out and maybe we don't get a like we don't get a share we don't get any comments we feel well you know I am just writing to the best. Nobody is out there paying any attention to what I'm doing. You never know what could be out there. You know, as I said, I never had a clue that anybody was taking a book that I had written 10 years ago and was actually animating it. Only somebody had come up to me. Now, the person hadn't even, the person that animated the movie, if they had come to me and said, by the way, I am thinking um, of animating a, a video or whatever, would you like to get involved or whatever? Or would you like to give me the okay? I would certainly give them the big thumbs up and I would, as I said, I would be blown away by it. But I didn't even know that this was being made until that person had left the comments in the YouTube section. So I could have gone from cradle to grave. I would never have known that there, there could be videos of my books out there. Only that person had done that. And as I said, sometimes you don't know the ripple effect you have. Sometimes you don't know whose lives you are touching right now with your content. And, you know, if you feel maybe that, well, you are writing and nobody's paying attention to it, people could be paying attention to it and more than you realise. Maybe they're just too shy to reach out. Maybe they put you on a pedestal and they think, well, you're too big of a person for them to contact or whatever. Or maybe they are going through a rough time in life. Maybe it's just not the right time for them to contact you right now. But you never know what change you could be making in someone's life today. So that is another reason why you should go out there. You should write your books. You should write your articles. You should record your podcast episodes. You should do your Facebook Lives, your YouTube, or whatever it is. Because you could be affecting people out here all over the world right now that you aren't even aware of through the ripple effect so as always if you'd like to reach out to me if you'd like to me to cover anything in a podcast episode certainly reach uh, send an email to barryjmcdonald at gmail.com i'm not on a pedestal yet and you know i would love to hear from anybody who is listening to this podcast needs any help has any questions whatever i would love to you know to 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 build a relationship with my audience that way so feel free to email me at any time any questions there's no such thing as any silly question email me and I'll certainly get in touch with you. Or if you'd like to know what I do over on the right come side, maybe you feel that this is the time you would like to write, record, video, or whatever, you'll find a lot of those training courses and a lot of great content over on the right come side. So if you want to go over to rightcome, that's W-R-I-T-E-C-O-M-E dot com, you'll find the content all over the web. So as always, take care and have a great day. Bye-bye. Thanks for joining us today. If you'd like more from the rightcome.com podcast, be sure to subscribe now for more tips, tricks, and ideas you can use to make more money from your words. See you in the next episode.